Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install the Elemental X kernel for the Nexus 6P here. I'm currently running the Pure Nexus ROM. And if we just take a look at the About Phone screen, you can see we're on the Pure Nexus uh, MTC19X, it should be, not Z. But um, we're going to be installing that on the latest, uh, I think it's June, no, June, July, sorry, July uh, security update. And we're going to be doing it right now. So let's head over to our computer here and you can see, I'll put a link to this, the XDA thread uh, in the more info. So you can do a come, so you can do some reading and uh, checking out, I guess, different versions, so different presets and uh, custom kernel settings and all that. So here, I believe it's only for um, stock-based ROMs, so if you're running Sound Engine Mode or something, it may not work. I'm not too sure, someone can probably correct me in the comments. I haven't really used Sign engine mod ROMs or added kernels to anything uh, for a long time actually. So all we need to do is uh, essentially flash it in recovery. So what we're going to do is, uh, and also it says to make sure that you're using, you're flashing this over the stock kernel. So not, not another, not a different kernel. So it's best to flash the original boot image off of your ROM or your stock image and then proceed with installing the Elemental X kernel. So as you can see here, we have two versions here, one for the Android N previews and one for the Marshmallow builds. So we're going to download the latest one, which is 1.19 at the time of recording. So we just click on that, it will redirect you to their website. And we can just save this anywhere and I'm going to save it. We'll just, we'll see the download links first. So here we have a couple of features here, like such as Sweep to Sleep. And I think there is an aroma installation, but We'll see. And there's also the EX Kernel Manager, which uh, I highly recommend if you're into setting custom profiles and all that. It's three dollars ninety nine US dollars. No, sorry, Australian dollars. Um, or it could be US. I'm not too sure. But this allows you to update your kernel via an app, and it'll tell you when updates come out. And it can load pretty cool presets there. And I would recommend getting this if you'd like to, I guess, squeeze out the maximum performance. Otherwise, you can use other tools like the Kernel Auditor here on the side and maybe even kernel toolkit, similar programs like that to be able to modify settings and you know tweak little things. But I think this is probably the best thing to use as things built for a certain thing are probably best to be used together. So let's do this. We're gonna be using the latest one here, the July security patch. And it's telling us that it will not work with previous versions. So if you're running anything below, you should probably use 1.18. Since I'm on the latest one or your ROM, if your ROM hasn't been updated, to the MTC19X uh, build of Android, then you probably want to use the 1.18. Otherwise, you can go ahead and use the 1.19 version of Elemental X. So we're gonna click on that, and that'll redirect us to the Android file host where it's located. We're gonna hit begin download, and we shall save it. I'll save it in my Android stash. All right, so. Just save it somewhere that you can find it again. I have stuff uh, very neatly organized, I guess. Kernels. I have been rocking the Elemental X kernels for a little bit now. So I'm gonna open that in folder. And while it downloads, it should be done in about a minute, we're going to set up our phone for use just to mount it, pretty much. We're gonna change the um, USB for charging to USB for file transfers. And as you can see, we have a new, a new window. Well, you can't really see. Well, now you can see. So we're about 30 seconds out. So I'll be back when this finishes downloading. Alrighty, so as you can see, it's finished downloading. We have the 1.19 version here. So I'm gonna open this and I just have a folder called ROMs and I'm gonna chuck the kernel inside there. So all you have to do is copy the kernel zip file to your phone, anywhere that, you, that you'd like. And as long as you can remember where it is, you'll be A-OK. -okay. So, well, it should have finished by now, but Okay, so for some reason I didn't like to copy to the ROMs folder, so I've just copied it to the root of the internal storage. And once you've done that, you can pretty much go to your device. We can reboot back into, or reboot into TWRP. I've got this handy, um, what do you call it, multi-reboot menu. And we're just going to go back to the recovery. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way if you're on stock ROM or something like that, or a ROM that doesn't have the uh, multi-reboot menu. You can just hold off, turn your device off, hold the 
power and volume down buttons together and your device will boot into the recovery. So while we wait for this to turn on, uh, yeah, we'll just wait. Okay, now we're in TWRP. We can uh, go straight into it. So we can, you can make a backup, which I probably recommend. We'll back up just the boot image here. Whoops. So just make sure the boot is selected at the top and we're gonna hit, or we'll swipe to backup, just in case things go wrong. And we'll go back. And I'm hoping you guys can see this all well. And so we're gonna go up and we're gonna see the Elemental X kernel. Actually, I'll change the brightness real quick, just so it's a little bit easier to see. Yeah, okay, that, I think that's a little bit better. So we're gonna go install, we're gonna download, oh sorry, flash the Elemental X kernel, just tap on that. I'm gonna swipe to confirm flash. And yes, they still have the Aroma installer for it. And we can hit next. Terms of use, agree. Yes, uh, this kernel is not modified, hopefully. Now here we can choose to, I guess, overclock or underclock this. This can be changed later via a kernel editor. Or, yeah, we'll just leave it at, as stock. The maximum frequency, I don't really feel the need to change any of that. Now, wake gestures, I wouldn't mind having a double tap to wake. Haptic feedback, yes. Swipe down to launch the camera. And we can just double click the power button. And we're gonna disable sweep to sleep. F-Sync. We'll do, we'll leave the backlight demo. So lower brightness and smoother auto brightness transitions. I don't really notice those things, but that's all right. And then we can hit install Elemental X. And that was easy and that was very quick. We can tap on finish and we can reboot the system. Now usually this first boot should be all right. If you experience any problems, such as a boot loop or it's, not just, it's just not starting up, you probably need to wipe the cache and the Dalvik or ART uh, runtime or ART uh, cache as well in TWRP if you experience any issues. But hopefully it just turns on all fine and dandy. And it looks like it has. We're gonna enter in our, uh, we don't even need to do that pattern to start up nonsense. And I think we should be able to check into the, or in the settings, in the about phone, we should have the Elemental X kernel. There we are. Kernel version, Elemental X 1.19. And of course, there are many different profiles that you can probably set. If we just grab the kernel auditor, make sure I'm logged into the right account. Kernel auditor. Of course, that requires root access. We can also purchase the Elemental X um, kernel manager. And this shouldn't take too long. We'll just have a little look at the things that we can change, grant, and there are these things over the XDA developers forums for the Nexus 6P and 5X um, that seem to work, these profiles that seem to work quite well. If you like uh, battery life, I've heard of Ghost Pepper. Um, that's the only one I really remember because a lot of people seem to talk about it on the internet and I have no idea what it means. I guess I could have a look later. But this is so far to get uh, the Elemental X kernel running. And yeah, as you can see up there again, that's the kernel, uh, the Elemental X kernel, and yeah, there are a lot of things that you can change here, CPU, um, uh, that I won't go over in this video, you can change the screen, such as the colors and all that, which is pretty neat, if you like to have your own control over the colors of the screen, but anyway, that's it for this video, guys, this was a request from, uh, well, I forgot your name already, if I have a quick look, well, yeah, this was a request to install Elemental X kernel, and up next, probably tomorrow maybe, we'll have a tutorial on installing the, uh, sorry, installing Attaway on your phone to get rid of those pesky ads that seem to be popping up all over the place. Uh, let's see if I quickly can grab that up so I can give him a little, a little mention. Ah uh, yes, I'm probably going to butcher your name but George Perez. That's him over here if I bring him over to the screen. 
on that side. George, one more thing to go and hopefully you'll be a happy man. So thank you guys for watching. Again, if you have any requests for tutorials or any kind of guide, I guess, that hopefully I'm willing to do uh, on the Nexus 6P, feel free to comment down that below. And also have these, uh, I've of course the kernel settings, add away, and how to use TWRP on Android N. There are two ways to do it, I believe. And I'll probably get to, to be doing those either hopefully tomorrow or within the next couple of weeks, as I do have kind of my last major exams happening uh, before an even bigger exam. And then after that, I'll be, I'll be all yours pretty much. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.